Daddy is no longer working at the job for the newspaper. It's just so much is going on. Um, he lost that job. These are my students. Want to say hello? Hello. hello. <laughs> what about to do? Look at we ended up getting into another argument. But it's one of the most hurtful things you can ever go through. Everything is on the man. You wanna check, but you gotta have a plan. Yes. Daddy's on his way. You guys wish him a luck. Say good morning. I figured I would vlog this fantastic summer morning. You need to finish cleaning up because I'm getting your breakfast ready. <laughs> he always forgetting something. Thanks for locking the door, Brooke. What? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Just focus on what I asked you to do, which was clean up. Okay? Um, I'm over here about to make breakfast for the kids. How did you guys sleep? What's going on in your life? I haven't vlogged in um, probably a little bit over seven days. Like I've just been like really going through some things. <sighs> Daddy is no longer working at the job for the newspaper. It's just so much is going on. Um, he lost that job. Um, that job, if anybody knows, it's a route that you have to spend at least, just depending on your car, but at least about 15 to $20 a night just to do the work and then you get paid like every two weeks so think about twenty dollars times 14 days because it's every single day and it's hectic you get no off days it's just really really hectic so <sighs> yes but let me go ahead we'll talk about that a little bit later i gotta get these kids fed real quick and that's what i'm about to do kids will be working out they actually really like it that has become our summer activity and I am so happy because y'all know that I'm like a workout queen and they're actually keeping me on track so involve your kids whenever you need a little push because I was really impressed that um, we've been doing it together for about a week right and then Makai comes up out of nowhere I wasn't gonna ask him because he never likes to do the things that we like to do he always just like sits around and looks like this is not for me mom so when he came up here on his own I was so excited because I have all my babies working out with me even the two younger ones they love to imitate and love to try to do them so it's really cool and I'm I'm, I'm loving it wish you a Merry Christmas I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart All right, so I'm sitting over here about to do a little bit of YouTube work real quick. And then what I'll do is um, once the kids' food digest a little bit, I will get to filming. You want to work out? Okay. Finally, finally done. It actually didn't take that long, but like an hour and a half or whatever to get caught up. Um, I just dropped a video, so if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. Okay, I just uploaded it. Um, so I already got over 20 views. I love you guys. And I just uploaded it. Like, you guys are so awesome. So, um, I am about to go and downstairs. I actually picked up two orders from Point Pickup while I was sitting here doing this other stuff. And the lady from K-12 through called me. And I don't know if that's going to be the route that I go down as far as Kaden. Um, 
I'm still thinking about it, but I don't really, I'm not sure anymore after this phone conversation that I had with her. Um, baby is back. He got the job, so say congratulations to him in the comments. Yeah! And this one, of course, never leaves my side. I'm about to um, go work out with the kids and get their lunch together so I can go and do these two jobs because I only have like an hour and some change before I have to get out and do the 445 order. It's like 315 right now, so let's go. All right, welcome to my fitness class. These are my students. Want to say hello? Hello. hello. <laughs> We're about to do some okay. workout. We are about to do a workout. We all have our little mats into place and we are all excited and ready to build these guns. Yes. All right. So we are starting off with the mountain climber today. Yes. Yes. Who knows what the mountain climber me. is? Not me. Show me.
decide you can come and visit my class. I go to class here every day around the same time. Tomorrow I might charge you a little few bucks or something, you know, just to come to class. But if you don't have your funds ready to give to me, it's okay. I like sweets too. You can just get candy. And you can still join my class. <gasps> Yay! I love working out with my babies. See? Ya. And they're doing the hard, hard one too. They don't even know it. Huh? Do I like it? Mm hmm. You are. She heard me. Uh, we'll see. It just means that you're going to be stronger faster. Why is my tummy not good? What do you mean? It only hurts because you just got finished working out. Build those muscles. So, solo dolo. Usually I take a kid or somebody with me, but I just didn't feel like it today. I felt like riding solo. Even right before I left, daddy was like, do you want me to go with you? And I'm like, no. Sometimes I just like being by myself. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, I just needed to clear my brain, you know what I mean? Just no distractions. Go ahead and knock out these two jobs real quick and then just get away from everybody. Ah! You know? So the job, what I was talking about earlier, um, the newspaper. Yeah, I remember when Jamal went to go do that. Um, he went to go join the army. And the army legit pulled up some information in his background that has never shown so when he was 22 years old he made a mistake and um, opted to something in court that he had absolutely no idea what he was doing and he got pulled over one night and um, he was doing like 80 on the expressway and the cop that pulled him over was like oh we smell marijuana um, impossible um, in traffic and you're floating so fast and you can just tell what two, two both of the windows were up and anyway so anyway when they pulled up to the car he goes he didn't smell anything or whatever but they end up charging him didn't arrest him didn't do anything because they didn't smell it they didn't find anything and they gave him a ticket when he went to court they told him, oh, this will pretty much go away. Just like plead guilty up to, you know, the charges, whatever. And that's what he did. He's 22 years old, never been in trouble, never been in the court system, never been arrested, never been stopped, all this other stuff. And they charged him with like, I think it was like a felony or I could, it could be a misdemeanor. I'm not sure, but it's coming up on all of his um, background for jobs now. And it was never showing up beforehand. So the army really, really, really screwed him in a way. Um, just bringing up all kinds of stuff because like I said, it was never, never, never showing up. Not at all. He was getting jobs left and right and now it's so hard for him to get a job because of this one charge. I'm a little impressed. They are on it today. Like, where? I pulled in and they came straight out to the car like, can I have your name? What? Usually I'm sitting here and I have to call the number on like the sign to get somebody to acknowledge that girl sitting out here and stuff. So I appreciate that. And it looks like they have my order ready already. Yes, Aaron. I am um, just going to deliver this. I probably won't even go back home because I have another order so close. What I'll do is probably come back in the area and just do a little shopping and then um, I will more than likely just come back over here um, to pick up the order in an hour after doing a little bit of shopping because I need some more black bean burgers for my house. I might run a Dollar Tree real quick anything else i can think of while i'm out i'm gonna go ahead and do it i'm always singing this song this is what he sound like to me bet you will 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 thug and your own girl do it you hit me up like i do it do it <laughs> that's all i ever hear when i hear that song but i love it because it's so ratchet and i love ratchet music <laughs> we can meet up we can meet in groups eh. <laughs> I'm in the club drinking any with a black and mouth. But that's why I let the club early. Bet you a. Bet you a.
Bet you a, bet you a, bet you a, bet you a, bet you a thug and your own girl do it. These are some really nice homes back here, and one of them was on fire. Um, you can, it said keep out, uh, police investigation. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what happened? I can only imagine. These houses are so close to each other. I'm surprised the other one didn't get caught on fire. So I just got done with my delivery. Of course, he did not tip. Of course, he did not tip. And um, yeah, so I am um, on my way to just go and try to maybe go find some lunch for dad's new job. I will probably go and, um, cause he was kind of confused about what he was going or taking for lunch. So what I'll do is probably try to go and, um, grab like some sandwich and stuff like the sandwiches that we'd be getting from Wawa and I used to get from Publix. Just going to try to recreate it on my own. I just looked at my bag and I realized I gave Jamal my bank card earlier before he went on his um, interview and he still has it so the only cash I have on me is one lousy old little funky old dollar a book so I guess I'll just have to like kind of just I'll probably just go in here and get some incense real quick and um, I will end up just leaving right out oh they just left me a tip so I uh, am looking on my phone and you see right there that person left me four dollar tip so um I just came to Aldi's my favorite place ever this is what I bought from um Dollar Tree this is the kind of incense most of their stuff stinks really bad but the linen is pretty good so I try to keep those in my house because we're always always needing those daddy stinks but don't tell him i said that yeah he's always like stinking us out the house so i need to keep my incense always i'm about to go in here and try to find him some stuff real quick for lunch though so this is all i bought it was seven dollars and 84 cent i got some rolls for him spinach some cucumbers down there and then um some white cheddar crackers some more and then I'm about to go to the store um, Walmart before I pick up this order because I don't want to have to come out and pick up the rest like pickles olives and tomatoes sitting here waiting on my other pickup so they were a little bit um they weren't the same as like an hour ago I had to wait a little bit I'm still waiting I'm gonna try to run into this Walmart right before I leave like after I get these groceries and like probably take no more than like three to four to five minutes only because I do not want to come back in this traffic and if I don't get what I need now I'm gonna have to come back on this side and there's no point the delivery is literally 0 0.5 miles away from my house so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that before I go home y'all are cracking me up in these comments honey that video that I just posted is like yeah i am dying over here like it's so funny i love 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 you guys if i don't say it enough i love you guys i love you i love you i love you like you have no idea this really brightens my day just like reading your comments love it that was fast so i got the black bean burgers i got the tomatoes and then here pickles and olives so i got everything that was on my list and I'm about to head to these customers' house so I can go home.
He just wanted to say hello to you guys. No, I got it, baby. You can't hold the camera. Um, I've been home for about two hours. Try to have um, a little peaceful evening. And, you know, I'm one of those people, if things are on my mind, I like to try to speak about it. And, of course, that just didn't happen. We ended up getting into another argument. Um, it just, it really baffles me sometimes. You know, it really, really, really does. Because, like, I'm one of those people that just wants to resolve things. And, and it just doesn't happen that way, so... Oh, I just get stuck in my own little thoughts and my mind starts racing and all this other stuff and it's hard to communicate with a person who and flips everything that you say and only focuses on certain things that you say and so I don't know um, maybe a lot of different changes coming up and I just want y'all to know rock with me I'll let you know as it's happening and what's happening but yeah it just really threw me off my god to be honest i don't even feel like vlogging for the rest of the day like that's how thrown off i am i've been sitting over here texting my girl and um one of my old middle school buddies and um yeah i don't you know i just i don't know right now and i don't even know what to say which is why i don't like to talk about things when it first happens because i like to sit around and let it just soak in and I have to get my thoughts together so yeah he's downstairs cooking dinner the kids are playing then you have little old me over here in her thoughts twisting her hair let's put it in there so I'm getting the kids ready for bed put it in there baby what's the problem look Right there. Yeah, so I'm getting the kids ready for bed right now. Um, it is 11.30 right now. And um, Jamal starts his uh, very first day at work tomorrow. So I think he's downstairs maybe making lunch or something. Oh, turn this light on. And get my babies into bed. Tata's over there using the bathroom right now. And um, I'm about to get them all set. Mar, you want to go tell daddy night? Mm -hmm. Go tell your dad night. So, yeah. Malik, go tell everybody night downstairs. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, I will just talk to y'all about everything later on at a different time. Um, yeah. I've always got to let things sit for a minute, you know what I mean? Let things simmer before I start just yapping. He just left. He went to Walmart real quick. <laughs> Good night, baby. Sweet dreams, okay? You ready to work out tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. I'm glad that you guys like doing that with me. That makes me happy. Mommy. Yeah. Tomorrow at night, can you find a movie? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find a movie for us to watch, okay? Tonight. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> I got you, baby. All right. I hope See you. Ya. I hope you have sweet dreams, baby. I hope you have a great night, okay? That's all she wrote, folks. So he just went to um, to the store. Um, apparently, I bought the wrong pickles when I was thinking about him earlier today, and um, he wanted different kind of pickles. So, kind of show you real quick what he made for dinner before um, I let y'all go. That's my plate right there. So I don't have to, yeah, it looks like that. I was like, I did not want to unwrap it, but it's just macaroni and cheese. Looks like potatoes and some green beans and a biscuit. So I'm going to go ahead at midnight and finally eat. And he is making us, about to make us some smoothies um, when he come back and, you know, we'll see how it goes. 
thank you guys so much for you know dealing with my nonsense today and just hanging with me i really appreciate just having you guys with me and throughout the day and you know i cannot thank you cannot thank you enough so it is um it's three years i've been on this youtube journey three freaking years i started in 2016 when i was losing my i felt like i was dying I felt like I was losing my life, my soul, because my mother died right in front of me. And it was like one of the most hurtful things to see. And see, I can't even say that without crying. But it's one of the most hurtful things you can ever go through, especially if you love your mom like I love my mom. And, um, you know, so having you guys, it really means the world to me. And I want you to always understand that. It's not like, you know, I'm not like a person who is just, you know, doing this just for money. Like, it's not about that for me. So I really appreciate you guys. So I just wanted to say that as always, keep your head held high. Have to keep reminding myself as well. And always keep pushing, keep moving. Don't let nothing stop you. And I love you guys. You can always lean on me for extra support. And I know a lot of you guys, I have the same support. So I love you all. Good night.